Open the checkbook, Grant Robertson. Our News Hub Read Research poll has found an overwhelming majority of New Zealanders want a tax cut in this year's budget. As political editor Jenna Lynch explains, Labour's dramatic drop in our poll has the party under pressure at its showing. It's great. The happiest chap in the Nats. Well, what a difference from the hammering we've had over the last couple of years. A spring in their step after cracking the 40% mark in last night's News Hub Read Research poll. We're feeling good and, good and confident at the moment. Did you see the poll last night? Uh... Over in the Red Camp, they don't want to talk about their six-point tumble. I don't know it. I'm not really concerned about um, the poll. Well, perhaps they should take a moment to reflect. The country's fed up with them over the cost of living crisis and voters are looking for something special from the government's budget in two weeks. Oh, I think everybody wants a tax cut. <laughs> I think, like, uh, the cost of living is just getting out of control. Yeah, I think a tax cut would always be good. Would be nice. Bad news, the Finance Minister appears allergic to the idea, but perhaps this will make him reconsider. We asked in our latest poll, do you think the government should give New Zealanders a tax cut in the upcoming May budget? A clear majority, 68.7% said yes, hand back over the cash, while only 23.7% said no. Even a majority of Labour voters, 54.2% want a tax cut, with 35.7% saying... No, nah, you keep it. But sorry. We do not agree that tax cuts that favour... Pressure is piling on from National. Kiwis are doing it incredibly tough. What we want to do is be able to give more of their money back to them to spend and save it as they wish. From ACT. Of course we should give people some more of their money back. Even from Te Pāti Māori, though they want a different type of tax cut, the removal of GST from food. And Kiwis want that too. 76.6% said they support the policy, while just 18.5% said no. Uh, it's a fair um, removal of tax uh, for everybody, so it's not, uh, it doesn't discriminate against rich or poor. The political pressure getting to Grant Luxon. Robertson, he unleashed on Christopher Luxon for saying that Nationals' Tauranga candidate brings diversity to their team because... He's educated. Finally, we know what's been missing all along. According to Mr Luxon, it's just they're all a bit thick. That's all it is. That's not very nice, Mr Robertson. No doubt, Chris. Oh, kia ora, Jenna. That was quite a performance from Grant Robertson. But he was just the matinee. Yeah, the main act has just finished up. Former national leader Simon Bridges has just delivered his valedictory, his final speech to Parliament. And given the tumultuous time that Simon Bridges had over the past few years here, he could probably have been forgiven for burning the place down on the way out. But he's saving that for his next book, apparently. His speech was less about warfare, more about wisdom. And I've enjoyed the people and the drama. Those who've been grateful, even those who've been hateful. At least they felt something about me uh, and politics. Bridges dished up pearls like don't focus too much on the polls and think of the bigger picture, which is reasonably ironic coming from the political creature who leaked a budget, screamed the house down about slushy machines, thrived on the theatre of this place and hung off every last percentage point of every last political poll. So your parting gift, Mr Bridges, 40.5% in the News Hub Research. The end of an era. Uh, Jenna, thanks so much.